Hey guys, welcome back. Finally. What we're what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be playing uh, Titan Quest Immortal Throne. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a death run, however. Which is basically you die, you delete your character, you start over. So no no deaths allowed. We'll see what all happens here. Uh let's go and uh Oh why don't we just start with this guy? No. Uh, no. Uh, create. I don't, do not want to delete my character. <laughs> Let's call him Miles the Man. Uh, what color do we want? Orange. No, the orange kind of looks like their skin color, so no. Let's take red. And I'm a girl. Because I didn't change the gender. Oh well. Uh, whatever. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples, which have stood forever, will be destroyed. The heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing, and instead, take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. So, other than that whispering being super creepy, what I've got from this is that the strongest heroes so wh what do they mean by the strongest heroes are born? Does that mean like they like like the hero is literally born during this time, or must have like some super good born. hero just comes out of nowhere and like oh I'm amazing now? I'm probably looking too deep into it anyway. Oh I don't want these tutorial tips. I know how to play the game. Die. Let's grab the leather harness, because why not? Stop showing me tutorial tips. I don't need you. You saved my home. Normally, we would welcome a weary. Da -da -dun. I think that's one of my favorite um, quest completed slash quest updated sounds ever. Da -da -dun. It might not be my favorite, but it is definitely one of my favorite. Oh yeah, this is a rebirth fountain. I will not be using those. Basically what happens is, uh, if you die, it's in total deaths right here, if you die, that's where you respawn. If I die, it doesn't matter. It's gone. Hello, stranger. And there's we not going to be any of this, peace. oh, I, I died, but uh, I have really good stuff, so I'm just going to put it in the caravan, in the uh, transfer area, so another character can use it. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. If I die, all my stuff is gone. Uh, this is this is just it's a straight-up death run. If I, if I die, everything on the character goes. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna go, oh man, but this person has a, a really good weapon that I want to give to my other character. And nope. You die, you're out. One death. Just morning, like real friend. life. Until next time. Most of the time. Hello there. Anyway. Goodbye. There we go. Um anything else? I kinda wanna buy like a shield from this. Oh, he doesn't have a shield. He does have a shield. I kinda wanna buy a shield, Until next but I time. think that'll just get dropped soon. So I'm gonna stick with just buying one pot. Die! Also, I'm using a torch because uh, it's one of the best weapons for the first part of the game. I think it's it. Well, in my opinion, it's the best weapon for the start of the game because your the damage is very good on it, or at least it can be. Nope, oh, that's the same. I guess also you could just do this: dodge, hit, dodge, hit. But that's boring. You take less damage if you do it this way, but uh, it takes long to kill anything. Actually, I might just do that for a bit. <laughs> I like how they just disappear. Poof! 
And it's gone! I'm not too worried about taking damage. There's health pots in this chest. Woo! Go. Got three. Primitive chest. What's in here? Hey, bad. Go away. 34 gold. Ooh, a buckler. I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that too. Sweet. I can't wear these? Oh, I need intelligence. I got a shield though. 8% chance to block. But you don't block everything, you just block 8% uh, chance to block 26 damage. So if the enemy does more than 26 damage, then it gets reduced by armor. I'm not gonna uh, bore you guys with the calculations for how armor works in this game. Unless if you guys like really want to know, then I might. But uh, probably not. I'm probably not gonna open that can of worms. I mean, it's not super confusing, but it, it'll it take up a quite a bit of time. The mo the moral of the story is: the more armor you have, the less damage you take, as with everything. But your armor can't negate all damage. That's what that's what we'll say. We'll keep it short and sweet. Oh. Oh, I see level three to use it. Whatever. Oh. Um, also, the reason that my health and mana are going up so fast there is that it's a regeneration shrine. Uh, it is the only shrine in the game that uh, will stay active for 30 seconds? Question mark? It's. I think it's 30 seconds. Oh, there's another one here. If you activate it, there will be a ring around it, where if you go in that ring, your health and mana will regen extremely quickly. But it's the only shrine in the game that will remain active like this for a while. I can just uh, fight this guy, go back to the ring, get my health back, dodge his projectiles, and then win. Yeah, you, you dark satyr Tilly Shaman. Oh yeah, I leveled up. I don't have to go back to there. Every time you level up, you hear that little that a little satisfying sound and your health and mana get fully restored. Sounds good to me. Alright, where are we gonna go in points? I don't know, because I don't know what mastery I want to do. What mastery should we go? The mastery system, honestly, is one of my favorite things about this game. That this game does very well. Every single mastery system in this game... Well, if you... Hmm... Yeah, this, this is Titan Quest Immortal Thrones, so you do have the extra mastery known as Dream. But I personally, I like Dream. I really do. But other masteries seem to do a lot of the stuff it can do better. And We're Dream is kind we of a point sink. Again, I, I can undo some. If I go into here, like, okay, first of all, these trances are amazing. They're one of, they're some of the best auras in the entire game. But, uh, like... Psionic Touch. Apply the skill to your left mouse button. Every three auto attacks, you do plus 30% damage. Warf Warfare does that better with Onslaught. Every one attack, you do 10% damage, and it goes up from there. What else does Dream have? Uh, Distortion Wave. Slows enemies and lowers armor. Nature does that better in Plague. It does it so much better. It reduces the enemy's health. It does poison damage, it reduces their total speed, it reduces their damage, it reduces their armor, or no, no, not their armor, it reduces their damage resist and elemental resist. So nature does that way better. What else in 3 do we have? Uh, Phantom Strike. It's a weak version of the hunting skill takedown. Uh, Lucid Dream, okay. This one is pretty original and it's very good. Lucid Dream, Premonition, and Temporal Flux are very good. Anyway, let's go to... I don't know what I want to do. Just explaining why I don't really like Dream. <laughs> oh, this one isn't good. A sleep, uh, a sleep ability for 2.5 to 4 seconds. But if they get attacked, they wake up. Which, if you have any sort of pets or any sort of teammates, they're going to be attacked. You can bet on it. Welcome. <laughs> um, 
don't want that. Which one of these is better? That one's better. Uh, okay. Goodbye. So let's go down. Also, for this I run, your for uh, you. I might be using the transfer area. I don't know yet. So long. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, here we go. Always stand in the middle of a portal. Dramatic effect. Uh, this is a portal, so I can go to this town anytime. If I press the L key, I will create a portal, and I can go from here to somewhere else. But I can only have one portal down at a time. If I put down another one, the previous one will go away. So you gotta be careful with that. Leave if you must, traveler. But we need your help. The farms are on the other side of the village. Oh, the whoops! I didn't even hand in the quest to kill the uh, that dark satyr guy up you there. You defeated the powerful shaman. Please bring word to General. Leonidas. There we go. Now I go down here again. You have our thanks. Yes, the way to spark. Do, 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 do. We were leaving the flux home. They jumped out at us and grabbed him. Side you. quest. Whoa, they grabbed his friend. How dare they? Oh, a heavy club. Which one's better? Uh, we'll see. Alright, so let's go down here. Do, 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 Bronze spear? Ooh. Yeah. I like the torch better. Oh, I didn't even pick a mastery. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Huh. Uh, storm and earth are kind of elemental damage. Warfare is like melee and you can dual wield. Spirit is uh, draining life and protection from undead. Dream is kind of all around. It's kind of weird. Like you have you have CC, you have damage, you have pets. It it's kind of weird to be honest. Like you have CC here in the form of sleep, and here in the form of stun. Here in the form of a petrify. Uh, this there's a slow here. This one reduces armor. Uh, that one does extra damage to demons. Uh, this one does bonus damage uh, and removes you, like, you're untargetable while you're doing it. Uh, there's a stun on that one. This does extra damage. Uh, you have active trances, which can... Only one of these can be active at a time. So you're going to have... Uh, this one is life steal and damage reflected. This one is uh, regeneration of health and energy, which is effectively like mana. This one is uh, AoE damage to enemies around you. Dream is kind of a jack-of-all-trades um, uh, mastery. If it's your first time playing, I definitely recommend Dream. So you can kind of get um, get the hang of a bunch of things in the game. But um, if, if you're going to play like with a group of friends, then I don't recommend Dream. Because... Um, it's just, it's good at what it does, especially these trances, just other masteries do what they do so much better. Also, never take rogue. Rogue is terrible. Don't do it. Okay, what do you have here? Calculated strike. Three charge levels and piercing damage. Piercing damage is good. Calculated strike isn't too bad of an ability. This part, however, is bad. You get pierce damage, which is good, but you get bleed damage. Bleed damage does not affect undead, which is about, I don't know, probably about a third of the enemies in the game. What? So the, ro the rogue specializes in bleed damage and poison damage. Guess what? Both of those abilities don't work against the undead, which is about a third of the enemies in the game. So you're strong against two-thirds of the enemies, but for the other two-thirds, you're screwed. Honestly? You're going to have such a miserable time. You're going to be chugging potions, running around, trying not to die. It's not good. It isn't. I mean, they, the rogue will only work well 
if he's in a group and <laughs> okay he's he's not good he he'll only work well if he's in a group of people who can carry him this might just be my personal distaste for the class but from my experience the rogue is just not good uh, hunt, hunting hunting can be pretty good H hunting is one of the better trees in the game nature and warfare are my two favorites but I won't be going those two specifically for this character because I already do have a character with that hunting is one of the better ones where you can have um, you work well with bows and spears and a lot of the stuff in here increases your pierce damage and uh, can also lower the enemy's uh, pierce resist which is a very good combo uh, I guess I could explain it uh, secondary no primary right here you have resistances here fire ice lightning poison pierce and then secondary resistances bleed damage vitality damage energy resist stun and disruption resist these do basically what you think they do resist fire ice lightning poison and pierce damage is different however pierce damage goes through all of your armor none of your armor counts if you get hit by a pierce attack so if you get hit by a pierce attack all the damage goes through unless you have pierce resist which reduces it directly uh... these primary resistances are capped at eighty percent secondary resistances can go as high as you want which is good so pierce resist being capped at eighty percent means that at at most you're gonna block eighty percent of the damage which is actually very very good so being able to go into hunting and then get extra piercing damage while lowering your enemies pierce resist makes it very strong and a uh, little side note these numbers can go negative and you will take increased damage from it so be very careful when when playing this game if your numbers go negative then uh... you're gonna get hurt a lot all right, so undo mastery selection. Nature. Nature is basically pets the game. There are a few. Uh, there is a worthless ability here. Briar Ward is very useless. Never take it. It's not good, except for this one at the very top. It's decent, but it doesn't save the. It doesn't save the skill. Don't use Briar Ward. It's terrible. Regrowth is good. It's a basic heal spell. Call of the Wild is pretty good. Up until about Act Three. There's four acts of this game. Act 3 is where pets really start to fall off and they don't really do a lot anymore. But the wolves can be very useful, especially early. Heart of Oak is very good. You get uh, percent health. You get uh, total speed. Uh, total speed is attack speed, uh, ability casting speed, and movement speed. So it's very good. So for the, the low cost of one energy per second, which you uh, which you get normally in your secondary energy regeneration minus one point five huh why is my energy regen one point five what's that from what oh maybe that's just normal whoops oh well so so that's one point five per second. So if I use this, I'll still gain. I'll still gain energy. For the active cost of one energy per second, you get plus ten percent bonus health and plus ten percent total speed. So that means you get ten percent health, ten percent attack speed, ten percent run speed, ten percent cast speed, for one energy cost per second. Oh, by the way, it's also an aura, so it affects your teammates and your pets. So yeah, that's Heart of Oak is one of my favorite abilities in the game. You can also upgrade the ability to have a percent chance at 50% energy cost. So if you're under the effect of this aura, which costs one active energy cost per second, bear in mind, you have an 8% chance of your next ability cast costing half the amount of energy. So right here, regrowth costs 46 energy. If this is here, it can cost only 23. Very, very good. Uh, per Permanence of Stone, also a very good ability. 
for another it says one active energy cost per second which will stack on top of this one so it'll now cost two energy per second you will get five percent elemental resistance which is all three of these elements here fire ice and lightning I personally enjoy that very much especially on the harder difficulties where you get negative resistances off the start of the game so very very good uh, refresh is very good you press the button it uh, it drops the the cooldown time of every ability Sylvan Nymph is okay but I think it requires too many points to be really good I mean the Nymph can be really good with her uh, nature's wrath spell or no overgrowth which will absorb damage but it's not really strong she's not strong in my opinion I would have moved her down one branch on here but actually that might break the game because after like three levels you'd be able to get wolves and nymphs but she's she's a little too weak for what she does until you get to the later difficulties where pets get buffs overall fairly good though defense is Defense is good, I'll give it that. Defense is good in the game, but it's hard to play by yourself. If you have teammates, by all means, go defense. You will be you'll be amazing. You'll be helping your teammates right on the front lines. People will hardly damage you. You'll have tons of armor. It'll be awesome. Armor handling. You you get more armor absorption, which which means that your armor can absorb more damage, which actually requires me to go in depth on how armor works. Uh, I will skip that for the time being. Uh, might, I might talk about that after. Uh, but if you have armor handling, it means you can carry heavier armor without being as strong for armor and shields, which means you can get tons of armor before anyone else in your group is able to use it, which means, of course, you get dibs on all the armor pieces and all the, a lot of the really good stuff in the game which is which is really awesome that's level one of the ability if I put a point to it goes up six times so uh, you can get very very good armor very quickly with that uh, battle awareness is 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 pretty good I'll say this it is pretty good it's a little weak to to start off with but it gets better with the with uh, adding these extra abilities into it. It's a 5 meter radius which is kinda small unless you're right beside your melee characters. Uh, you do get defensive ability which increases your chance to dodge and reduces the likelihood that you'll get uh, a crit on you. Like the enemy will crit on you. Uh, energy reserved basically means that if I have this ability active can I no, I can't cast it now. Okay, undo. Uh, energy reserve means there will be a bar in your energy meter that'll stop you from using any energy that is there. Basically, you just don't have it. And you get a little bit of armor from having battle awareness, which is really good. And then up here, you get increased chance to block, which is awesome. It's a little bit more energy reserved, but increased chance to block is amazing. So, you have tons of armor, and you can block a lot of the time. Let's say, for instance, you don't block. Oh, well now it goes through your armor. You're, you're going to be tanking everything. And up here is really, really good. You get, for another only 10 energy reserved, you get 30% stun resist, which means it uh, stuns will be 30% shorter. Reduced entrapment, reduced freeze, reduced skill disruption. For 10 energy. That is one of the best skills in the entire game. Very high up there. And keep in mind, this is an aura. So your teammates get this too. So defense is all about having the teammates. It's battle awareness is a very good skill. Well, it's very good. Rally is, rally is 
Well, he's okay. I mean, it's got a 10 meter radius, which is higher. It, it, it's a heal, and it gives you health regen for 10 seconds. It's good, but it's not as good as the heal in nature. It also gives you a tiny amount of armor. Uh, the upgraded version gives you also energy regen and total speed, which is a lot better. The one up here is elemental resistance and damage reflected. Um, it's, it's pretty good. The elemental resistance is only temporary, though. So nature, does again, does that better. The energy regen per second, uh, actually Dream does that better. Who would have not, who would have known? Uh, but this one second duration actually extends it, so if you get this one, it'll be 11 seconds instead of 10. So you get 11 seconds of the, of these buffs instead of 10. A little bit better. Adrenaline, adrenaline's pretty good. I'll give it that. You get, you get, uh, a lot of health regen per second. If it triggers, then uh, you can also get this, which will reduce the amount of uh, re reduce the amount of time between adrenaline rushes. And up here, if you do have an adrenaline rush, you get plus total speed and plus damage, which is really good. Uh, disable. I have never actually used this one before. Um. 6% chance to be used. Oh, it just slows the enemy. Okay. Pulverize. Pulverize is okay. It's just that, it, again, it, it requires um, you to have allies to be super effective. It disrupts the enemy's skills. It, it has a low chance to be used, but when it is used, it can be really good. It hits three enemies in a small circle around you. It reduces their offensive ability, which reduces their chance to hit and crit. And it can uh, stop them from using skills for up to three seconds. Colossus form. Oh, this one. This one. This skill is very can be very powerful, but can also ruin you. First of all, look at that energy cost. Ten energy per second, which means if I had it right now. I would only be able to use this form for 30 seconds, and I'd be done. Well, I mean, it has a 24 second duration, so it gets cancelled after that anyway. So that means that it'll use 240 energy in, in total, over the 10 seconds. During this time, you absorb 30% of the damage, which means it's like 30% damage reduction. You gain 50% damage, 30% strength, which affects your damage, and 30 health. It's a it's a little health bonus. You do, however, lose speed, which will hurt your total uh, damage. But overall, the, I very much enjoy the mastery system. I think I'm gonna go warfare though. We're gonna we're gonna go, or should we go earth? Overall, the, I very much enjoy the mastery system. I could go like on and on and on about how good the whole mastery system is. But um, I feel as though I should really get a move on. I want to go... I think I, gotta, I, think I want to go warfare. Because uh, dual wielding, though. Dual wielding is very strong. Uh, oh, whoops. I activated a battle marker. That'll increase your uh, attack damage and attack speed. Let's use it. Um, warfare, I, I, I really enjoy it. The only problem with it is that um, if you use dual wielding, I mean, you're not going to dual wield every, every attack. Uh, you have a percent chance to dual wield. I think it goes up to a maximum of 33%. I'll have to check that. But, um... The, uh, the problem with dual wielding is that if you're doing it, uh, your DPS counter will not be correct. So, uh, like your DPS counter is in here. Right here. Damage per second, 37. It takes into effect your attack damage and your attack speed to get an average DPS. If you're dual wielding, it's not right. It'll be much lower than what it actually is. For some reason, it just doesn't work. It's kind of weird. 
I guess there's just some sort of bug in the coding of the game. The game actually has a few bugs, but they're not going to be patched since the company uh, is not in business anymore. There is, however, a fan patch that fixes a bunch of the bugs with the game, but I currently don't have it because if I get it, that forces everyone that I want to play the game with to get it too. And I don't want to force that on people until they've uh, until they decided for themselves whether they want it or not. I'm getting low health. I'm going to use a potion. There we go. Also, I like how the potions are used in this game. They give you a they give you a small amount of instant health, and then a massive amount of health regen for the next. I want to say six seconds. I think it's six. But it, I like it better than just the, oh, I got I used the health pot, now I just get health instantly. I like the whole regen aspect of a health potion. Whereas it's, it's not just this magic thing that you can just use. Ooh, I almost died. Whew, I should be, be paying attention to that. This is a death run after all. <laughs> Don't want to lose 30 minutes in. That would suck. Oh, I also got another level. I guess I should really do my skills. Okay, you know what? We're gonna kill off these guys. We're gonna kill this guy. We're gonna kill this guy. And then we are gonna take a break. And then we're gonna head to... We're gonna head over to part three. So here we go. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna take a break. And we're gonna do our skills in part three.